And away we go. And it's the nightcap brought to you by Galactic Fried Chicken right here on BearcatJournal.com. www.galacticfriedchicken.com. Go to the website, get the app. The app can get you delivery right to your front door, pretty much anywhere inside the 275 loop. Or head down to Dayton, Kentucky, Wednesday through Sunday. Tell them to pump it up. Save yourself 15% off of your order. All right, we we we're we're in a time crunch here. It's halftime, oh, boy. so we're we're trying to get things going. You want to know my favorite thing of the night, Aaron? Kevin Huber and Clark Harris being, being the rulers of the jungle. You did it again. You took what you wanted to be your thing of the night and just assumed it on my thing of the night. Well, I'm just saying, Bearcat being a ruler of the jungle, he was a very yes, long-time awesome. Bearcat. Congratulations, Kevin Huber. Uh, I I love the astonishment, the absolute unbelievable nature of the Twitter audience being amazed that Bengals fans could look at a map and look at their ticket and figure out what color to wear. It looks fantastic. It does, but everybody's like, Cincinnati understood the assignment. The assignment was to look at the map. They, <laughs> they had two weeks ticket. to figure it out, too, by the way. <laughs> two weeks to figure shirt, it out. Put a shirt on. It's nice out tonight. It's not like everybody's bundled up in their winter coat. Correct. That would have been, that would have been a catastrophe if it was not nice. Right. But guess what? Uh, people in Cincinnati have the capability to look at a map, look at their ticket, and figure out what shirt to wear. We did it. We did Yay. a thing. Yay! Cincinnati did it! <laughs> All right. Uh, like I said, we're on a time crunch. we got to get Aaron back for the start of the second half. So let's get this thing rolling. Big 12 week in review. Week 10. Aaron, the season's almost over. It is that. Thank God. Um, but anyhow. No. <laughs> uh, Texas Tech TCU on Thursday. Texas Tech gets uh, a little bit of a lead early. TCU tries to come back. I told Texas you. Tech holds on. We said we didn't know who to pick. I told you we don't pick Sonny Dykes. Yeah, always don't Nailed pick it. Sonny Dykes. Yeah. I mean, that's a that's like one of those things like it's static for this show. I don't think either team was better than the other, but we've one been right more than we've been have, wrong. Yeah, one team didn't have Sonny Dykes as their head coach, and that team won. Uh, big one that it looked like early Texas was going to just whitewash Kansas State. We were and, so right uh, on this one too. Yeah, I mean. Texas Tech, Texas holds on, excuse me, 33-30 in overtime. Kansas State covered, though, as yep. we kind of we kind of expected to be the case. Will Howard ends up going 26-42, 327, four touchdowns and a pick. Uh, Avery Johnson didn't really get much go on this one. He was only 0 for 1, uh, along with one rush for negative one yard. Uh, they, they didn't really play the, the two-quarterback game here. Um, I... I didn't get to watch the game. Obviously, we were kind of doing a thing at UC, but we had a thing. Yeah, we had yeah. a thing. Um, All together, though, uh, this is kind of what we expected. Kansas State has been good. Uh, I don't expect this to derail Kansas State entirely too much, but Texas well, does. It, I mean, what it does, it was kind of separation Saturday. Like the odds are pretty good now. Kansas State's not going to play for a Big Twelve championship. There is that. Uh, Malik Murphy for Texas ends up going 19 and 37, 248 with a touchdown, two picks. Um, he's starting in place of Quinn Ewers. I think if Quinn Ewers is in this game, we're having an entirely different conversation, yeah, I agree. truth be told. Uh, but they end up with 230 rushing yards, largely behind Jonathan Brooks, who had 22 carries for 112 yards and a touchdown. Well done for him. Um, big, big day for Adonai Mitchell. Uh, who is a junior receiver, eight catches, 149 yards, and a touchdown. They figured out how to win. Yep. Did take overtime. 
they had it, and then 16 to 3, Kansas State wins the fourth quarter, ties it up, gets it to overtime. Texas should have put that game away a couple times, but didn't. But uh Bedlam, the final Bedlam. Who knows Let's how long go. it's gonna be until Oklahoma State says that they want to do this again. They have I think to, they, like they won. Screw you guys. I, you guys want to leave? You guys want to tell us piss off, we're going to make you more money? Guess what I say to you? We want scoreboard. Double middle fingers. Fair enough. Uh, I I think you'll see this revisited at some point in the next decade or two, but I don't expect this to be anywhere near a regular occurrence. Well, Uh, I'm just saying, I'm Oklahoma State. Look, we talked about it last week. I told you, I told you that Oklahoma State was going to win. Nailed it. I I was like, I said, I was taking the points. Like I knew right. it was going to be close. It was just a matter of could they could they do just enough. I just think I I think that the original eight as they're I believe dubbing themselves or or something the along that eight, line actually, the, the hate, hate I'm sure is, yeah um whatever it is <laughs> there's there's more at at stake like just the bragging rights as you're watching what I think they're calling it O U T right yeah. O U and, and U T yeah. out. Um, but they, they wanted it more. And I, I think that for, for Gundy and company, this meant way more in general. Um, I believe he said he was going to celebrate this with diet Coke and his favorite flavor of diet Coke was whiskey or yes. something along those lines. Uh, well somebody, done, sir. He, so he said, somebody asked him, he said, they said, what are you going to celebrate with? He said, diet Coke. He said, what's your favorite flavor of diet Coke? He said, I really like whiskey. <laughs> Classic Gundy. That's so good, man. That is so good. What's your favorite flavor? Whiskey. <laughs> yep. He's crazy. I like him. He's my kind he of crazy. That. He is that. Uh, big win. That now we are we are right now, it's still three weeks to go. We are on a Texas Oklahoma State Big 12 title game collision course as things currently stand. And Texas is the last hope to make the playoff. And since they're not going to be around anymore, I don't care if they do or not. I think we're all Oklahoma State fans at this point, right? Yeah. That was a fun team to watch. I liked watching how they played. Um, I'm, I've been a Mike Gundy fan for a long time. You had me at I'm a man. I'm a fan. 57. <laughs> yep. Kansas. Uh Consistent. Seven points in every quarter. They got up big early, and then Iowa State, again, everybody kind of makes a run in this thing, in this league. Uh, Ultimately, well, most everybody. uh, uh, Kansas holds on 28-21. Jason Bean's a dude. I told you this. You were higher on Iowa State. I was higher on Kansas. Jason Bean gets it done. He he is the quarterback. I'd be shocked if he doesn't start Barring injury, doesn't start the rest of the season. Um, oh, despite, Jayden, I don't think Jane Daniels is coming back. Like, he I would is, agree. You know where he's headed? Somewhere else to the portal. Dun, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but Jason Bean finishes 14 and 23, 287, and a touchdown. Um, they, they didn't do it, they didn't have a ton of offense. They ended uh, up with roughly it wasn't a big game. Like, Neil only had 57 yards, he did have two touchdowns. Yeah. But... He, he, he I mean, didn't have that. But, but enough to get it done. I just thought it would be tough to win at Iowa State. But you get off to a good start like that. Guess what? It's a lot easier to do, Aaron. Play with the lead. There is that. More than they probably had more than seven leads this this whole time. With they had seven drive. They had they had two drives with a lead before halftime. Cincinnati's so had two all season. Uh Houston. By the hair of their chinny chin chin in overtime, they go for two. They beat Baylor 25 24. It looked like it was going to be an easy one. Baylor again came back at the end, pushed it to overtime. Houston gets a win. Uh, uh, Red Bull and vodka for everyone. This was the the hottest seat challenge, right? B- between <laughs> Dana Holgerson and, yeah. and Dave Aranda. Uh, yeah. Houston, Houston puts Dave Aranda solidly on the hottest seat in the entire conference. That said, 
this makes me feel a little less confident going to Houston as Houston wins an away game at Baylor. Yeah. Uh, I don't feel good at this point going to I Houston. A, I can feel good about anything right now. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. Um, that all said, Houston figured it out. I'm sure the Red Bull vodka tasted a little bit better that evening for Dana Holgerson. Um, and I don't know what Dave Aranda's drink of choice is. I'm not sure he actually drinks looking at his physique. He, he has a much, much less uh, BPI. <laughs> Uh, finally, West Virginia, 37, BYU, 7. That was an ass-whooping, and uh, yeah. BYU is just not good. They're not good. I've been high on West Virginia all season. You know that. Yep. But we were both on the right side of this one. He was, he was a pariah, and Coach Neal has figured it out. He, he's winning games. He is you no mean, longer. Sometimes it might take a couple seasons to. Never mind. So I don't know. I mean, West Virginia has. He's the farthest thing from the hot seat. You're sitting at six and three right now. I I would love six and three right now, um, but no. Compared to some of the other coaches, we we thought he would be gone by now. We at the Mid-season, beginning of the season, like we, he would he was the first yeah. coach to be fired. Is that where we had him? coming into the safe season. he is safe although i did i did in our bcj preview show pick west virginia to beat cincinnati so maybe i knew something nobody else knew actually it was because we predicted that they would fire him sometimes you get a bump when like the interim takes over and everybody's like happy to play for the interim guy uh that was why i picked west virginia it is that is not gone according to plan <laughs> well, we'll find out soon enough. Yeah. All right. That's a wrap. We're getting ready to start second half. Go, Aaron. Get out of here. That's the nightcap. Brought to you by Galactic Fried Chicken. Right here at BigGunJournal.com. See ya!